do my Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. Hey, we got a little early, early for you guys. I think some, some people are gonna be pretty excited for it. At least I am. You know, any OG head out there, you guys are gonna like these. Quick little look here. We do have a Jordan OG box. It kind of reminds me like the 13 box, but what is one net number up on 13, which is the 14s right here. Bam, freaking bam. We got the black toe 14s. When these first came out, I wanna say it was about 1998 and is inspired by the Ferrari. Jordan's uh, inspiration of his shoes is by his car, like the fives was his Porsche. And now these are 14s, Jordan's Ferrari. I mean, 14s came back out, like, you know, during the end of his Bulls run. I mean, we remember the last shot, but the 14s is, is another fan favorite, I would say. Quality is actually pretty good. Right here, you got the logo right here, it has a emblem similar to like a Ferrari emblem, the little jump man right there. You got the little tire traction on the outsole, 14. Roman Roman numerals and of course got the tire marks right here but new buck on the black toe little baby jump man and Jordan on the tongue so the num number 14 on the back quality on the leather here is okay it's not bad I mean let's see we got um stiff leather though not gonna lie it's kind of stiff but hey man don't be surprised I think these actually might end up selling out sometimes 14 are not that like crazy fan favorite but usually when they come out with the OG colorway now get don't get me wrong if they're like super GR but you know lately Jordan has been cut down on production look at the back here got the Jordan mark the, the tire marks on the back the big stretched out Jordan in that stretched out 23 pretty clean man I never had an opportunity to actually own these the midsole has a little iridescent to it you see a little glitter glitter on all over the midsole I do have the last shots these might have to go in the collection I do remember when Rick Hamilton was actually rocking these back in the day too um, maybe it was part of the Jordan team or just want to rock Jordans 14s this is you know I wasn't really too fond of it because 13s was kind of I thought it was like towards the end of Jordan's career because you know back in 98 was when he was last season with Jordan with the three-peat and I think they just came out with the 14s on the like the last few games so but yeah man these these are a go like I said I don't be surprised if these sell out these are coming out this weekend November 2nd coming out should be at most of your retail stores you know it is a GR and all but not bad man might have to go ahead and grab these but yeah coming out retail should be like 200 never mind 210 man they keep up and up in the price up y'all so hey you guys let me know that these 14s get a little early look come out this weekend but these are cop or not these just kind of a hmm we'll see anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead i might end up picking them up to be honest will they go on re retail resell discount i think they actually with the trend that's been going on with jordan i think things might be selling out again like we're gonna start getting that. I think they're cutting down production, but even though the price is so high, so you see some things either go on sale or sitting, but these are a good one too. So we actually even, even we got some other 14s up in here. Um, these are the Laney's that came out. I think these were the highs though. The original Laney's, you know, some people say the Laney's supposed to be a low, but hey, it's, it's Jordan 14s, another great colorway. Um, oh, I see 12s. We got a quick little unboxing. Unfortunately, this was, a, well, fortunately, it was a shock drop. Couldn't make a video on time and you probably wouldn't watch it anyways, but it was a quick little shock drop. It was a different type of shock drop. It was like one of those Scandi cams. I mean, we, it's been a minute since we had that. I think maybe the last time we had a scan cam shock drop was probably either, was it the Power Puffs? I think that was a scratch and sniff. But one with that, you actually had to take, you know, the camera, the phone, and scan. It might have been the gold fishing dunks. I think that was one. No, that was probably a scratch off too. Oh, I can't remember when was the last time we had a scandy cam. Like, you know, the scan with the can. Uh, anyways, um, mistakenly, for some reason, I kind of thought they were gonna be the, the Tekken. It was not, but it's all right. You know what? 
Honestly, it's probably gonna be a back to return to Nike. And that's okay. That's all right. There it is. We got a Wolf Gray Foam Posits. Bam, bam, man. These were expensive too. Oof. And foam posits are usually known to be kind of expensive, but you know what? These are kind of cool. They are. It looks a little 3M-ish right here. I'm, I'm 3M. This whole little uh, posit material or foam material right here is like all 3M. So that's kind of cool. But it's not like crazy, like, like flashing 3M. But overall, it's kind of cool. But I don't really really buy foam pauses like that so i'm not gonna lie if it was a tekken it would have been a different story thought it was was not just wolf gray something simple it's all good it's all good anyways man uh we'll talk back about the the black toe 14s that are coming out this weekend i'm just letting you guys know look i know a lot of george has been sitting lately going on outlets going discount prices but you know what i won't be surprised if these black toes sell out they're not not saying that they will sell out, all right? I'm not saying that they're gonna sell out and you better rush out and get a day one. No, I'm not saying that. I just saying, don't be surprised if they do sell out, but I wouldn't be shocked if they do sit and go on discount. I don't know, it's, I just think it's a OG colorway. It's a fan favorite, you know, type of colorway and color blocking, so I figure they might sell out, you know, I'm just saying. So if you guys do want them, I just say go ahead and grab them day one obviously you know that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab them day one i'm not gonna wear them right away you know i'm gonna keep the receipt in case if i see a discount price later down the road you know what boom i'm gonna grab that and then i'm gonna go do a little return hey any way to save, save money i mean this is the i think i have like two or three uh 14s in my collection even though this is the last shot this is the mecca right here bam this is what, i love these i love the last shot ones. last shot one's a good shoe but the black tail is another good one too it's just a little more solid right here but hey again i'm not i'm not gonna pretend like i'm the biggest 14 guy i'm definitely not but you know i can respect 14s you know i dig it even though 13s that's more my cup of tea right there that's my more my favorite uh silhouette but anyways man you guys let me know are you guys planning to cop the black toe 14s uh this weekend november 5th and i get it maybe not because we have a lot of other sneakers coming out i mean we do have the fear fours coming out next week after that then we got the olive nines and then after that we got the black cement threes like we got we're, we're about to get into it in the holiday season man we're gonna get a lot more heat coming up very very soon all right anyway guys hey make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for next time i drop some videos so guys please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at drummer chris and ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat I'm also on TikTok. Hey guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jamie Chris. Peace.